Hello colleagues, my name is Possible and I will be your tutor for today. In our previous lecture, we ended on some of the items that must be excluded from the computation of GDP. And then we said that intermediate goods, we are going to exclude them. Transfer payment, we are going to exclude. And then um, second hand goods, we are going to exclude them. Today, of no exception, we are going to look at gross national products at market price. And I've told you that if we are talking about market price, it means that indirect tax is included and then subsidy is not part. I hope it makes sense. So we are saying that gross national products or GNP is the total market value of goods and services produced by the nationals of a country. By the nationals of a country. I hope you are getting it. So, gross national product at market price is the total market value of goods and services produced by the nationals of a country. When you talk about nationals, we are talking about citizens of a particular country, right? So if you are from Ghana, you are a national of Ghana or a citizen of Ghana. Yes, that is my country. That is why. If you are from Nigeria, you are a Nigeria national. I don't know whether I'm right, but you are a citizen, right? So you are saying that the total market value of goods and services produced by the nationals. So you can put the nationals away and then use citizens, right? You can use citizens. So there are the goods and services produced by the citizens of a country during a given period of time. I hope you are getting it. So that is what we are trying to say. So that is gross national products. Now the next one is the computation of the GNP. It is very important to know how to compute um, for the GNP. In the sense that GNP is different from GDP. Right? Good. And then, because it is national, national, when we are computing it, we are saying that it's GDP at market price equal to, no sorry, GNP at market price. At market price, GNP at market price is equal to GDP at market price plus the remittance, let me say the income from outside country. Now when you talk about nationals, we have some of the nationals who have traveled. Ghana to be precise, a Samoyan is a football player, he's not in the country, he's playing outside. So if you are talking about the nationals, let us consider all the incomes that the people or that the citizens who are outside the countries are bringing home. Let us capture that one, let us add that one. If you are bringing all the income that your people or your citizens who are outside the countries are bringing into the home country or the, the, like, the mother country, then you have to make sure to do justice to the foreigners who are also within your country. Take their own and send it back to their also mother country. I hope it makes sense. So you are going to, you are going to bring all the incomes that belong to your citizens or your nationals who are living outside. You are going to bring all of them home to their mother country. And at the same time, you are going to take all the income that belong to foreigners who are in the country back to their mother country too. So remittance from outside, from your citizens who are outside or your nationals who are outside, bring it home, come and add it. And then the remittance from the country to other countries, the foreigners will take it out. I hope you are getting it. That one will convert it from domestic to nationals. Because nationals in the sense that we want to take away foreigners own from it and then add 
only the people or only the citizens of your country. I hope you are getting it. So, add income, next factor income from abroad. Next factor income from abroad. And now when we talk about next factor income from abroad, have you seen that I'm using next? It means that we are going to strike, strike the remittance from outside the country. What your people are bringing, right? What the citizens of your country are bringing home, minus what the foreigners are taking back to their country. So let me say remittance, inward remittance, inward remittance because of the space you know let me use remit minus outward remit so in the question though we are adding net factor income from abroad but when you get negative net factor income from abroad it means that you are going to subtract because it is going to be like plus into bracket minus net factor income for, and you know that this one and this one will be negative i hope you are getting it so in the question when you see net factor income from abroad and the figure is probably negative 100 don't be confused you just bring your plus here and then bring the minus in the bracket and you know that it will affect it and it will still be minus it happens in that way in the sense that, or when it happens in that way, it means that the inward remittance is lesser than or less than the outward remittance. Yeah, so in question, when you get negative net factor income from abroad, it could be negative 100, right? In that case, you bring the plus here and bring negative 100. That is the net factor income from abroad. It is supposed to be added, but if it is negative, you know that plus and negative definitely the minus will affect this, right? So when you get negative net factor income from abroad, don't be confused. It mostly happens to the developing countries, right? The income that their nationals are bringing back home is always um, less than what the foreigners are taking back to their country. I hope it makes sense. In our next lecture, we are going to look at the net national products at market price. At market price. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Once again, my name is Possible from Ghana. Bye-bye.